Hello and welcome to Monet Cafe. I'm artist Susan Jenkins. We're gonna have some fun today and if you're new here, please subscribe and hit that little bell icon to be notified of future videos. Hello artists, come on into my kitchen with me where I needed a change of scenery. So I grabbed some food products. Oh, and my cute little kitty, Banjo. This is my new rescue kitty. Oh, he's so sweet. And I just had some beautiful pumpkins and I grabbed some onions and garlic and I decided to paint in my kitchen because I had some beautiful light coming from my kitchen window. Now this is going to be a speed video production. It was part of my Patreon lesson, their weekend homework. And sometimes I know you guys might like to see this even though it's sped up just for the enjoyment of painting. But I am gonna go over my supplies. This is Canson Me Taunts Pastel Paper. It's the unsanded paper and I'll be using the smooth side. This is the Earth Colors pad of paper. I love these colors. They're toned just beautifully for fall, especially. And I love my set of Prismacolor New Pastels. They're still considered soft pastels, but they're harder. They're not as messy. They're a great go-to set to grab for doing pastel sketching like I'm doing here. I also have a collection of some softer pastels. This is a little temporary storage system I have for my pastels in between paintings. It's a neat way to put them away without having to put them back into my working studio palette. All right, now I'm also gonna be using some Derwent charcoal pencils. They're great for sketching. They work great with pastels pastel. I would avoid using pencil. You can, but pencil's kind of slick. It's a uh, material it's made out. The pastels don't hold to it very well. And here's my cute little squatty pumpkin. And before I add the music and uh, go into the speed version, I wanted to show you how to get proper placement. Sometimes if you just start getting in too much detail with a sketch, you end up with your subject matter improperly placed or you're like oh my gosh I painted it way too big it's going off the page so I always like to make these little guide marks little compositional marks and get an idea of where the bottom is the top is the sides are and then you can kind of draw or sketch and you've got it in the position on the paper where you want it that's just a, a little quick tip for sketching all right now enjoy the music I have three paintings I'll be doing for you here and I actually just like sometimes watching a speed video to some nice music and uh, I hope you like it you know I'm gonna have more full instruction coming your way but when I have these patreon lessons I like to also share them speed them up and share them with you guys too so relax and enjoy and if you feel motivated or inspired grab yourself some food out of your kitchen something that uh, you just think looks artistic and have some fun sketching and painting it if you're new here and you've never subscribed please subscribe to my channel. We'd love to have you as part of the family. Also, like, comment. I love to read your comments. So, all right, guys, enjoy it to the music, and I'll be back at the end.
I really hope you enjoyed that. I had a peaceful time painting from God's wonderful food that He gives us, and I pray you are blessed and that you are enjoying this beautiful gift of art. Happy painting! <music>